So I had a few questions about the whole multiple intelligences thing. Oh yeah. I did not even know you were really listening. What would you like to know? Well I learned that most psychologists agree that there is some kind of general intelligence, right? Right. And many psychologists are also working to figure out the specific intelligences and how many different kinds there are. Okay so can you tell me some of these different kinds of intelligences? Well one theory is the triarchic or three-part theory of intelligence that proposes that people may display more or less analytical intelligence, creative intelligence, and practical intelligence. Who came up with that? A psychologist named Robert Sternberg. He said that intelligence tests only measure the first kind, analytical intelligence which is the ability to answer problems with a single right answer, but that they do not well assess creativity which is the ability to adapt to new situations and create new ideas or practicality or the ability to write good memos or to effectively delegate responsibility. So there are three kinds of intelligences? Yes. The analytical is the one that makes someone able to recall facts and answer things correctly. It is what is measured by all those tests that the psychologists give us. Okay. And the other two? Creative intelligence is the ability to adapt to new situations and to create new solutions to problems. Creativity has been found to be dependent upon several factors. Expertise. Imaginative thinking. Risk-taking. Intrinsic interest and working in a creative environment. Creativity is in part a social phenomenon. The most creative people have been supported, aided, and challenged by other people working on similar projects. And what about the third intelligence? The one with writing good memos and delegating responsibility? That is practical intelligence. It is more than just good secretary skills. It is a kind of intelligence that cannot be learned from books and lectures. It is what is commonly referred to as street smarts or common sense. So like all kinds of gangster smarts and the things people pick up from living in bad neighborhoods. Right? Well yes. But it can be a lot more than that too. It is an intelligence that is learned from life experiences. Okay I think I understand that. But was he right? Well, in some aspects, psychology has proven his theories. Scientists mostly agree that creative intelligence is not closely linked to analytical intelligence. And practical intelligence is separate from both of them. What is that supposed to mean? He was kind of right? Come on. You got me into this whole psychology isn't evil thing, but basing a science off of being partly right all the time seems a little bit suspicious if you ask me. Fair enough. But tell me one thing. Can you exactly measure how a person thinks? Well, no. And can you tell me the exact process that makes you able to remember things and respond to the tests that the psychologists put you through? Well, no. Then the best we can ask for is being kind of right. Is that still suspicious? Yup. Yup.